Hey YouTube, quick tabletop video of one of my uh, favorite summertime uh, carry pieces, but it's also not just for summertime carry, uh, even for uh, say cold winter months when you've got uh, ample layers of clothing to carry a, uh, a larger pistol, you might be in certain situations like I am where you're in a suit or a certain type of event where uh, concealability, you just really want to be subtle and a small pistol like this is perfect whether uh, you choose to go co uh, pocket carry, uh, whether you want to do inside or outside of the waistband, there's uh, lots of uh, accessories out there available for the uh, CAR P380. So, uh, also just want to touch base uh, on a couple of modifications uh, for this pistol that I've done as well. You can see I've done uh, some painting there to customize the slide just using basic uh, enamel paint that you can pick up at, uh, at any hobby shop. There's lots of great videos out there to show you how to do that. Um, the Smith & Wesson Shield also uh, did that one as well, which I'm going to use by way of a size comparison for you to give you some perspective. Uh, I used a, a oil-based Sharpie pen for that, uh, and that's uh, uh, proved to hold up a little bit better. This one uh, wears a little bit. I've had to do a second coat for this one, so I might have to switch over. So, Also just wanted to show these Talon grips. I'm a huge fan. This is my first time ever using the Talon grips. Uh, they're amazing. These are the rubberized ones. Uh, the fit and finish is just uh, just phenomenal. So it uh, looks like it came right from the, from the factory with uh, how it lines up and uh, great instructions for how to use it. Uh, hair dryer, uh, they give you the alcohol swabs to clean the gun. Uh, I, I highly recommend those. Uh, I think both for functionality and then also for aesthetics. I think it does some great things, especially for the shield, which you'll see uh, in just a minute. So, hey, just some thoughts about the gun. Uh, if you've not been to the website for the CAR P380, uh, they have two lines, CAR. They have a P-Series. Uh, and then they have a C-Series. The C-Series is maybe what you would call their economy line. Uh, those uh, pistols do not come with the polygonal rifling in the barrel. And also the slides are, are not quite uh, machined as, as thoroughly. Maybe if, I don't know if that's the right uh, terminology in the production world there, but uh, the edges are not quite as rounded. They're not quite as sculpted. They've got some sharper edges. But uh, you give up those things and you get a, a better price point. This pistol... Uh, and the two-tone slide, the stainless steel slide with a black polymer frame uh, in the C-Series. I think it's called the CW380 at a local gun shop here. Uh, retails for $399. Uh, this one is the is the P-Series, and it's the all-black, which is hard to find. So you're going to pay a premium for that. Uh, you're you're going to pay uh, probably somewhere between $550 and, uh, and $600 for the, uh, the two-tone. They're a little bit easier to find. It might be between $5 and in 550. So the specs for the gun is at 6 plus 1 uh, with the standard magazine. Uh, mine came with one. Sometimes it comes with two. Uh, I got mine at a gun show, so uh, a little bit better price. So I think they probably drop out the extra magazine for a cost saver for them on the, on the sale. Uh, but uh, stainless steel magazine. And then you can get the uh, one with the uh, extended magazine. This is a seven rounder. Let me show you what that looks like when it's in there. So it gives you better purchase on the pistol. Uh, I don't carry it with the seven rounder in there because it prints a little bit more. I carry that in a uh, uh, little magazine carrier to uh, as a backup. So uh, six plus one on the standard magazine. It's uh, the overall length is 4.9 inches. The height is 3.9 inches. The slide width is 0.75. Uh, but this is the beauty. It's, it's just under uh, 10 ounces without a uh, a magazine in it it's going to go higher than that depending on the kind of uh, ammo you carry so it just it disappears in your waistband and with the weight you really just don't even know that it's there it's also again great for pocket carry uh, because of the weight so uh, amazing amazing concealability so it's got driftable sights both the front and the back you can see there they're dovetailed in and then this is just one of my favorites about the gun, which I'm going to talk about a little bit. Uh, you really get, I think, full-size gun functionality in a small package. I mean, those are amazing sights for a small micro-compact uh, pistol. You can compare that to the Ruger LCP, the Taurus TCP, uh, the kel uh, These, it's Again, just amazing, uh, amazing functionality. The, uh, the ergonomics, again, I think it feels like a full-size pistol in your hand, even though it's small. Uh, the size of the gun, they've not changed the shape dramatically like some of the other micro-compact uh, 380s. So uh, just it, the, the feel in the hand, uh, it, you, again, you, you, you feel like you're holding a, a, a full-size gun. So the, um, it locks open after the last round. Again, I think there's a great example of you get some full-size functionality 
in a small package. Uh, and then it also has a, you can see a substantial uh, uh, slide release. Uh, this is important too because they recommend for the gun when you're chambering your first round uh, that you want to do that using the slide release uh, and not manually actuating the slide with your hand. So, uh, uh, so I recommend that you, you do that. I've found that sometimes if you try to do it manually with your hand, if you don't uh, actuate the slide all the way back, uh, it, it, it doesn't chamber the round fully. So uh, I think that you're just going to find with any pistol that you buy, you should follow the manufacturer's instructions. Um, the cars have a, a break-in period. Uh, my, 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 my opinion is that a lot of people that don't like cars, they, they want to, to get it. They want it to shoot uh, uh, perfectly right out of the box. Uh, car recommends at least 200 rounds. Uh, this is the second car that I've owned, and I found that once you get past that break-in period, uh, that uh, they're, they're precision handguns. You, you've got to give it some time. Uh, and so once you get past the break-in period, uh, I think you're going to find that it's just as reliable and just as flawless as, as any of your other uh, pistols out there that have a, a great reputation. So Again, concealability is amazing. Uh, you might have some strong opinions about whether or not a 380 is a uh, is an adequate defensive round. Uh, I'm of the opinion, as many people are, that it's better than not carrying it all. So if you've got your your full size gun or even your your compact size gun and 45, uh, 40 cal or, or nine millimeter, but you just don't carry it a lot, then uh, not having anything uh, isn't much at all. So I would say, hey, go with get get a, a smaller pistol that you know that you're going to carry, even when you don't feel like carrying. Uh, a larger weapon. So lots of accessories that are out there for the CAR P380 by way of lasers, uh, by way of holsters. Uh, it's been around uh, long enough to where you're going to be able to find everything that you need uh, to build a carry system uh, around uh, this pistol. So uh, the trigger pull, uh, according to Jeff Quinn at gunblast.com, if you've never checked out his website, amazing gun videos. Um, he registers it at 5.25 uh, which that sounds uh, uh, pretty close to me based on how it feels. So you can see it's empty. It's a safety check. Uh, I'm not going to field strip it. You can find plenty of videos out there. Uh, but just to, it's got a little take up to right here, and then you have a, 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 a like a wall of resistance, and then the pressure uh, comes, and then, which is Carr's signature, uh, amazing, crisp, smooth trigger. Uh, just like a, uh, a great double action revolver. And I'll show you the reset. Here it comes to right there, which is really right where the take up begins. So the, it's, a, it's, a, it's a longer reset, uh, long trigger pull, uh, but that's the safety feature of the gun. Just like with a double action revolver, it does not have an external safety. So if, if you're carrying one in the chamber, uh, you want to have a longer trigger pull uh, that's got some stoutness to it so that you've got to bring some intentionality uh, if you're going to uh, pull that trigger. So the, um, the only thing I would mention this, you want to be careful about what type of ammo you feed through it. Um, for me, I carry the Hornady Critical Defense for my uh, uh, jacketed hollow point. Uh, it's rounded just enough, and then it's got that uh, uh, rubberized uh, filler there so that uh, upon penetration that uh, it's not going uh, to get clogged up and affect the uh, expansion of the nose. Uh, so uh, I found that uh, just standard jacketed hollow points that are open there uh, don't feed especially well, and then it certainly does not like to feed flat nose. So uh, for your ball ammo, if, you've, if it's a flat nose, <clears throat> it, it, it gets hung up on the feed ramp, so you want a rounded nose. Uh, if you're doing any of your own loading projectiles you're going to buy, these are 100 grain. Uh, a full metal jacket and some loads that I've done. Uh, it feeds these uh, fantastic. So let me just give you a comparison here as we wrap things up to the uh, Smith & Wesson Shield. Uh, we'll put the uh, flat base in here. So you can see just by way of comparison uh, for size that it really, uh, you can appreciate how when I say it disappears in your waistband, uh, it certainly does. So uh, look at that. Just a fantastic little pistol. I'm going to come out with another one soon for the uh, Smith & Wesson Shield and uh, talk a little bit more about this. for my. Uh, this is my everyday carry. You can see I've done some modifications with that as well. And those are the Talon grips again. So I uh, hope you'll take time to like this and certainly share it with anybody who might be looking for a uh, Micro Compact 380.